Welcome, y'all. Y'all come on in and get out of the cold. Good evening, and <clears throat> welcome to a new experience in shopping. We're incredibly proud to present Shop Live, Shop Local, Charlotte. Uh, we have with us um, Melissa uh, Latin, our co-host. Hi, Melissa. Hi there. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. So excited yeah, about so what we excited. have. I'm excited. I've been looking at all the tables and all of the shops and the artwork. I mean, it's beautiful here. It really is. And so we have a special show. We've pulled together, even at this time of year, uh, the, some of the best artists and merchants in the Charlotte area. We've got mostly here in Charlotte with a couple coming up from Waxhaw which is just down the road. So, um, so Melissa, should we talk a little bit about safety? Sure, yeah. I, 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 I did visit a few of the um, shops in Waxhaw, and not only are we following protocol here, which you'll be talking about shortly, but also the local shops and vendors, all of them had hand sanitizer available, face masks, and it just wasn't encouraged that you wear a face mask, but you really can't enter the stores without one. So That's right. we wanted to make sure that we're safe here as well. And if you are going out and supporting your, your local shops. That's right. And we, you know, for this production from the beginning of the first creative coffees all the way through filming today, we have followed every CDC and NC HHS guideline to include social distancing, wearing masks, providing masks, uh, and hand sanitizer, uh, and we have taped off so everybody who is not on camera is wearing a mask at this time. So I'm pretty excited, aren't you? I'm so excited. Like I so said, you want to know how this thing's going to work? It, tell me how this is going to work. All right. I, I've so, never done this before, but I'm super well, excited. Well, either have we, to right? To showcase so, local. I mean, yeah. I'm all about supporting local business, so I'm really, really excited for tonight. Yeah, so am so I. So get out there and buy. Yeah, right? that's right. So we... Um, so we've got lined up, um, like I said, some great merchants and artists from locally, and we're going to uh, be, tr you're going to be getting a chance to meet these folks. And, you know, these are the folks that are behind uh, the stores and the, and the work and the products that are in those stores. Um, and so it's going to work pretty simply. Uh, um, you can see on, uh, on uh, csnapget.com, uh, we have every item that you will see on camera tonight, every item. Uh, is up and ready for sale. But the purpose for this event is not to sell a lot of stuff online. The purpose is to shed some light on some of the great merchants and artists that are here. And so it works very simply. If you, buy, if you decide to buy something, that will be um, automatically shipped, uh, uh, automatically for in-store pickup. And it'll be available starting this weekend and into next week. So hopefully you get in there and you get to pick up your order. If you want shipping, uh, we will ship to you, but we need you to uh, reply to your order confirmation email requesting shipping, and that will be quoted separately. And then finally, we're offering free local delivery service for orders over $500 or among multiple merchants for those who may not want to get out and shop, and we understand that. Uh, but this is all about supporting the merchants and the artists, and so with part in partnership with uh, Third Rock Events and the galleries at 811. We are incredibly proud to present to you Shop Live, Shop Local Charlotte, and we're going to start off with a gal, Mar um, uh, Marcy Paget. I'm sorry, Marcy. Uh, we're going to start off with Marcy Paget from Southern Style Design in Waxhaw. This is one of the most dynamic merchants I have ever met. Take it away, Marcy. Thank you guys for having me. It's such an honor to be invited and for everybody that went through to put this together at, at a very fast pace during the holiday season. But our store is excuse me, located at 2416 Providence Road South. Um, we have a lot of home decor, Christmas, jewelry, clothing, and I also have a wine shop. These are some pillows that we have. They're fur pillows. It's very hot for the home decor. We have some animal rugs hides we carry pillows these are indoor outdoor pillows for north carolina that we've had made um, they're made by a small company in alabama that we have those custom made we have some 
two men that make these baskets for us. We do a lot of closing packages for realtors, so these are great. They come in a variety of sizes. This is the largest size. It can be flat, or you can hang these. We carry a lot of bath and body products, but this is Manjacati. We love this um, company. It's a plant-based company, all made with essential oils, but the thing that we love the most is they employ people with disabilities that work and do all of the packaging. So it's all made in the United States. So, um, and it also d works to make those undesirable people be employed. So we love supporting them. We have um, their entire back line and they have a fantastic hand sanitizer. We also carry David's toothpaste, which is all natural. We sell a lot of this. So we're really into that natural um, element, things that are made in the USA, small batches, small companies. So not only are we a small business, but we try to purchase from small businesses as well. One of our big sellers, Ella B Candles, um, this is our wax all Christmas candle. And we sell a lot of these, but we also have a wax all candle just every day and hostess and birthday. So, you know, these are always great and they're on our website. You can check those out. Um, like I said, we have a wine shop. We carry wine accessories and glasses. These are some funny ones. It says, of course, size matters because, you know, it does. Um, you know, some of our really good wines for this season is um, um, Barrel Bomb. It's aged in uh, con whis from Kentucky whiskey barrels. So this is a big seller for us. It comes in a red blend or a cap. Great looking on the tray. We um, have pint glasses. North Carolina, of course we carry beer. We have a wine shop, we carry beer. We try to carry a lot of local beers from small breweries. Um, if there's a beer that you're looking for, you're having an event, we can custom order any of that stuff for you and have it ready for pickup um, for any of your needs like that. We also have an artist that draws all of our, um, a lot of our ornaments and towels for us. Have yourself a merry little cocktail. These have always been really good sellers for us. We have a Charlotte ornament. Um, this is a homeschool mom champion. It's got glasses of wine and a trophy. Um, we also have a wax all candle. These look great. A lot of people will buy these. And um, I can get this open here. They'll put it on a wine bottle and give that as a gift, which is always a, something nice to drop off at your neighbors. And then we do carry jewelry. Um, this is all handmade in Tennessee. This is stone and stick. Um, and they do a variety of stones, bracelets, earrings, and small necklaces. So we have a lot more of their line um, at the shop. And all of these make really good gifts, all easy to ship, except for the wine. Might be a little hard. Um, but local pickup, you can shop our social media pages as far as Facebook and Instagram. We do have things on our website. It does change a lot. We do virtual appointments. Um, we only allow a small amount of people in the store at a time. So we try to work with every person's um, capability as far as them shopping. But uh, we hope that you'll stop by and join us. And um, we look forward to having a great holiday season. We have a beautiful holiday store set up. This is just a small sample, but we have lots of Christmas in our store. So um, we would. Love to have you stop by and join us. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6, and Sundays, 1 to 5. Wow, that was incredible. That was. You know, Marcy is a dynamo. She, um, that gal is going 27 Four, like uh, 24. I just don't, she's amazing. She, her store is, you know, I had the opportunity to visit like hundreds of stores and meet with these, we meet with the owners. And, you know, she is just an amazing gal. And her store, she does an am amazing job of keeping it. Uh, she has to transition that store probably 10 times a year. Sure. So not just four times seasonally, but she's always going. And she just loves her customers. So she didn't. They, ha they have music, socially distanced music on uh, Fridays in the summer sometimes and get folks together. And the one thing I do have to say is that we don't have the alcohol for sale on the site. That's, we, that's the only thing that you'll see that we don't have for sale. 
But well, you know, there are some gifts there I saw that I want from my mother. Like she just she loves like the little tea towels and the, and all of that. So incredible. yeah, it's it's neat. You know, um, Waxhaw is just a neat little town, and it's just down the road. But you know, coming up, we have one of I think one of the most inspirational Charlotte um, success stories. One you of know, my Charlotte favorites. born. Yeah, he's one got. One of my uh, favorites. I, think, I don't know if you guys know Johnny Fly, Johnny Fly. but they're coming up, yeah. and they've got a great great assortment of glasses and, and other accessories. So well, I had a great conversation with him just before we started, and they're also making them blue lens glasses. So we know a lot of people are working from home. Um, so really support him because I love the frames. Those are the, one of his wooden frames, right? That's right. That's, but I don't want to take away from what, you know, what they're doing. So you know what? Let's go ahead and get right to it, to John Freeman and Ramsey Cottle from the Johnny Fly Co. Johnny Fly. Uh, we're a local based uh, eyewear and leather uh, brand. Uh, we've got a store, our storefront uh, flagship stores over in Noda, uh, part of Charlotte. We also have one up in Lake Norman area. Uh, so we're going to show you a couple of our favorite pieces and styles here. Yeah, and our glasses are actually made from organic acetate, some natural wood and metal. So it makes us um, a little bit more eco friendly, a little bit more sustainable, durable, lightweight, all the good things. Um, everything's polarized and we can do prescription or blue guard, which we'll talk about later in any frame as well. So this is just a really nice sampling um, of some of our favorites. So um, we'll try some on and be sure to let us know in the comments if you see a pair on here that you're dying to see on. We are beautiful models and we're very happy <laughs> to do that for you. So um, if you want, do you want yeah, to start with yeah, your we can favorite? Kind of start, yeah, I might, yeah, I might dive over here. You know, so my, my kind of go-to always is, is the captain. It's a little bit of aviator style, kind of crossbar. It's a good fit. It looks great. You know, both both uh, men and women let you, let you try. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's what I love about this one. It pairs the nice metal with with our all natural wood, which is on every frame, uh, and the acetate that Ramsey mentioned there. Uh, my favorite feature is the spring hinge. So you wear them up on your head. They don't get all stretched out and wonky. Double as a headband half the time. Yes, yeah, really great for girls too, because. Um, the frames that we have that don't have nose pieces on them don't get stuck in your hair. So just a little hack there for all my ladies. Um, and my favorite is actually the Apache. It's a little bit more of an aviator. I love a little retro look. It's a oversized on um, more narrow faces or most of the women. And this is my favorite colorway that we have now, which is on where you can shop the colors on there. So this is the matte tortoise with the gold. But I love this one. So this is my most comfortable favorite frame. Um, not to say that I don't have every other pair too and love them just as, <laughs> just as well, but um, this is number one typically for women too. It's the white tortoise latitude. Um, so this one's really pretty on. Gives you a little bit of a different natural look for a tortoise instead of a brown or a black. So it just pulls into the neutrals. Yeah. And for you guys, for the guys that need to, to buy something for, for your lady, that is the frame. Yes. That's an easy go-to. It's always the easy. Can't it's, go it's wrong. The one, yeah. Mom, girlfriend, whoever. Yeah. yeah. yeah and that means about gifts. You know, we do exchanges and uh, clear through the holiday. We, we extend our exchange policy clear into January because we know it's hard. I wear is a tough thing to, to buy for someone else, and uh, you know, we're we're here to back you up for it uh, if you decide to do a frame versus a gift card. Absolutely. Um, you should tell them about the Blue Guard too. Oh yeah. So yeah, real quick. So our Blue Guard technology, we we do this in prescription, but we also do it uh, in non-prescription. So. It's really nice on your computer, your phone, all the LED lights. It changes your whole sleep, circadian rhythm, uh, you know, section. You know, my, me, my eyes used to be buzzing at 5 o'clock. It completely got rid of that. It's like having an extra cup of coffee at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah, and this sizing, the flight um, right here, actually can go down to, I would say, 10 years old or so. Yes, So if yeah. you've got kids who just need not just like a film coating, but like a really nice high-tech blue guard, this is a great gift for the kids, too, that are on the computer more or you know, doing games and things like that. So Absolutely. it's a real, this is a really cool gift, I think, with the new technology and things like that going on. So, and then the leather, which is yeah, really so Yeah, so we're just touching the leather real quick, because this yeah. is one of my favorite bags. Uh, you know, this is for the person who can't decide what they want to do about it. So it's a very standard business bag. It has a normal shoulder strap, but what I do love about this one, you tuck these guys away, uh, you pull these out, and it becomes a backpack completely. So it's got your padded laptop sleeve, all of the tech that you That's want cool. to carry what you want. Uh, but it, it is it is kind of all in one. We used to have customers come in and be torn over the backpack or the messenger bag. So this is the 
measure bears a backpack. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's and a little everything. bit more modern, sleek yeah. lines. So it's, yeah, it's very clean. Still conservative, but then throw that on and feel like yeah. you're on trend. And it's called the convertible nice. there. Yeah. So, uh, and then, of course, the trusty dock kit. So if there's a guy in your life that you just don't know what to get, <laughs> there is this is like a win because you can get it wet. It can sit next. I, I don't know if we told them, but all of the leather is um, tanned old world style, so no harsh chemicals. Um, so it can get wet and it'll just yeah. get soft and yummy over time. So you can throw this on the bathroom sink and not have to worry about it and it'll last a lifetime. So this is a great um, gift for guys and girls. I mean, it's a great makeup bag yeah. too. I know a lot of women who use it. I know, I think I use that bag the most, but yeah. I, I hide it under the things every day, so I keep everything clean up top. But. My stuff wouldn't fit in there. But you know, we kind of a couple other pieces yeah. of eyewear, you know, on the quick side. So this is one of our new uh, new frames that just released in our first class collection. So it is our stainless and wood. So it is all wood all the way around uh, with our stainless steel subframe. Steel that same spring hinge that we, we love. Uh, and it's just, it's this one's, I think, going to be a really good hit. So it's, it's only like a week old uh, in our line. So we're really excited about yeah, it. Yeah, I love the name. Um, yeah, these are great ones. And again, we can do anything in prescription. And also, um, we would love to see you in our store. So if you want to come by and pick up everything that you've gotten, um, we are open every single day. We're at pop-ups. We try to do whatever we can to support you know everyone we love in Charlotte. Yeah. So we're super happy to be here. Yeah, yeah. come see us. We are online at johnnyflyco.com. Uh, and also, uh, you can find us on Instagram at johnnyflyco. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, anything you need online, you know, definitely uh, check out the site. We'd love to get you in any of these guys and get yeah. you set up. Yeah, thanks guys. Well, that was pretty fly, wasn't it? Those guys are great, and they have an unbelievably great product. Um, now this next merchant up, uh, and so please do support them uh, online on their website, Instagram, their store in Noda. Uh, they've got a great as assortment, and you know, John is, and they've all set it up like a family. It's a great business, uh, great people. Um, <clears throat> next up is Green with Envy, and if you are in the Plaza Midwood area and you're looking for that, I gotta get a quick gift. This is the number one place to go, uh, I think. Uh, they, uh, you know, Tina and Barbara and Amy are there to help you. They've got an unbelievable assortment of over 60 local artists are represented in there, plus some really great novelty gifts and a lot of fun. So with that, I'm going to kick it over to Melissa, who's going to start us off. And I'm going to go join her while we present to you Green with Envy in Plaza Midwood. Happy holidays, Happy holidays everyone. everyone. So, so I am I super, super excited, excited to be able to present Green with Envy today. Um, a very unique shop. They not only sell really cool products that I'm going to talk about today, but they also feature a lot of local artists, artisans. Uh, one of the first things I want to start out with are Oprah's. This is one of Oprah's favorite things. This is a it's a project where you can paint. Dawn, is that not like the cutest? It really is to do with your niece or your nephew. And or... they are called Pink Picasso Paint Kits. Great gift, $36. And this is kind of like what the finished product looks like, but on Oprah's favorite list. Also, it's now what, chili, perfect for men, women, uh, these scarves, a great Cashmere, price Cashmere, so point. soft, and the right. price is unbelievable. I, I may take a couple home. And then one of my favorite things are bags, right? And I see a lot of men, even men can wear these hobo bags. So this is an official hobo bag, nice leather, very, very soft, just super, super cool. And they have a wide selection. 
So any of these can be purchased tonight, right? All the pictures are online. Let's and they go. certainly have a good assortment in the store too. Right. Um, you want to talk a little bit about? Well, so yeah, I'll tell <laughs> I know you what, I'll, was... Let me just take over because I've been in this store a thousand times. They're an incredible partner for for uh, for me and for our company, and and hopefully we're helping them and their customers. Um, before even we went live, we had another order for a candle. Oh, great. Uh, before it, not even it was a Dilworth candle actually, mm. so it wasn't even one that's on our on our list today. Um, but you know, again, this, these guys have some great stuff. Uh, so they carry a full line of Corsicle. Uh, the tumblers of all sizes. Um, they have probably the widest selection of these uh, LOB candles, and these are Charlotte candlers. These oh. are people in Charlotte, or in, I'm sorry, in North Carolina, who make these candles, and they're sold, and they can be customized. So just like Marcy earlier showed the Waxaw candle, here's the Carolina Christmas candle, they've got the Queen City Holiday candle, and they've got a Charlotte candle. I smelled them, Right, in two different mm -hmm. sizes. They do smell yeah. amazing. Um, okay, so I'm going to wait on something. Um, can you hand me one of those over there these? behind you? Oh. Yeah? Is there one in particular? Yeah, how about the, that one? The, the last, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm going to talk about a couple other things. They have um, these artisan handmade uh, um, tiles, uh, uh, coasters. They come individually and also in sets, but you can see they've got, they've got the Panthers covered. But they certainly also have Charlotte covered. And they've got these, these are beautiful coasters, right? Um, an unbelievable assortment of candles. These torched candles smell amazing. The packaging is great. They have uh, make your own wine and make your own beer, right? So if you can't get, a, I don't know if you can make it at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock when the cutoff is and still have it. I think it'll take if a little while. If you're home, you're okay. Um, they have these great puzzles. I actually bought, they had a huge tiger one. Impossible to do, but what a great thing in the winter when it's cold out and you have, you have, you're at home anyway. This is another Torch Spirit candle. They have great novelty games like uh, loop games, uh, loop and hook games. Um, and for, our, for our, our, our market here for Charlotte, they have this, uh, which is the last one probably on earth. Uh, it is for sale on the website. Uh, or no, I'm, yeah, I think it is. But um, if not, it'll be in the store, but it's gonna go fast. Um, and then of course, you know, it's not the holidays if you're not like me and probably getting a lump of coal. And so if you're looking for this lump of coal, they've got plenty of them over at Green with Envy. And I'm gonna finish with what I think is one of the coolest items. I had never seen this before Green with Envy. So we know when it rains, it's raining cats and dogs. This is actually a reverse clothes umbrella. And of course, it's raining cats and dogs, right? They have others, uh, others at the store. We've got a couple, just two or three. We have uh, two or three online. And that reminds me, I want to uh, mention that for the most part, all I should have done this in the open, but for the most part, all of the items that you see tonight, there is only one available. There are some exceptions, but there are only one. That's for two reasons. One, many of the art and other things are one of a kind. And at the same time, our goal is get you out there into the stores. So with that, I'm gonna kick you back over to Melissa and, and we've got another exciting one coming up. So was that not gonna catch I am super excited. I think I'm gonna buy one of those paint chips. I think I have a niece or two that might enjoy that. Um, definitely all of the Charlotte merchandise, the Carolina Panther merchandise, just a really, really cool store in Plaza Midwood that you really should visit. Or again, if you're out, out, of, out of town, not in Charlotte, buy online tonight, everything is there. So next I am going to introduce somebody that I just met tonight, but his art is just phenomenal. So he's got another job. This is kind of like what he does on the side and he takes unique things and creates lamps out of them. Um, I just am super, super excited. We're going to introduce Nick, right? Yeah, we're going to introduce Nick. Did you see some of his creations? Nick Giuliani. He, this, this is a fellow who, you know, a lot of artisans, um, they have full-time jobs. And this is their That's passion, right? Yeah. And so when you get to see what Nick does, 
Uh, it's pretty impressive. What he does with um, He takes old stuff and he just, he, he, instead of tossing it out, he makes beautiful, interesting creations from it. Right, and keep in mind that Nick's creations are one of a kind. So That's right. There are not two available of any of his pieces. So if you want one, you need to order online tonight or through his website. Or just, well, yeah, I mean, or just contact him because he also does right. custom pieces. He but said, I don't want to take it. I can put, yeah, I guess I can put a light bulb in anything. Yeah, great. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to kick it over to Mr. Nick Giuliano, also known as Nick Knack Decor. How are you doing? My name is Nick Giuliano, as they had mentioned. Um, tonight I'm going to be showcasing some of the uh, unique lights piecing, pieces that I've made. All of these are one of a kind, and I actually do custom pieces too. So if you would like a custom piece, just reach out to me and we can discuss that. So I'll just go from left to right here. This one is an, actually an old, an old minnow trap that I've made into a light hang from the ceiling. And then the, the, uh, the length can actually be adjusted as well. This piece I put together yesterday. Uh, this is a, a vintage camera uh, that I, on a stand. This can go up to 50 inches tall. It is adjustable. I have two versions of this. This one is an Ensco camera with an on and off switch on the side. All these uh, light bulbs can be interchanged as well too. So if you do see a, a light bulb that you like, you know, you could always swap it out and buy another one online. Uh, this is a vintage blender that I've turned into a light. I have another vintage blend, uh, blender over there that I have to thank my Aunt Karen for letting me use uh, as a lamp. My buddy Gary loves smoking cigars, and so I, I made this uh, cigar box into a lamp, and it has the on and off switch on it as well, too. This is a vintage uh, Kodak camera. I'm originally from Rochester, New York, the home of uh, Kodak, or somewhat, but uh, really cool bulb there, another really cool bulb there. During quarantine, I've also gotten into some mixed media art uh, so I'm just playing around. This is a, a, like a goat that I've put together. This is a uh, oil painting that I put together, which is a, uh, just an old car. Here is the same camera that I had over here. This one is actually just a, a blue. Uh, and then I have a vintage radio with the on and off switch. I try to do my best, and you'll see here, I try to do my best with turning the on and off switch that was originally on the piece to actually make it functional and turn it on and off. That one I really like, and I'm about to make actually a bigger version of this, but it's a, a, a vintage fan. And I get asked a lot, it does not spin. I haven't figured that technology out yet. Um, this is a, a vintage uh, dark room timer, which you're able to turn on and off as well. These are old spools that I put together, made into a lamp. I'm gonna flip over to this side here. This is a, a vintage space or a, a heater, which I turned into a lamp, and the bulb's already preset in there as well too. And as I mentioned before, uh, another vintage blender. So I do custom pieces. You can find me on Instagram, on Etsy, on Facebook, and I honestly, it's just a hobby of mine that I really enjoy doing. And you know, if I sell a couple, that'd be great. Uh, if not, then you know, gets me through quarantine. So. Take it over there. Thank you guys for your time. That was uh, such cool stuff that he makes, isn't it? Um, so now we're going to shift over to uh, what I think is just an amazing uh, approach and merchandising approach. So um, we're, I'm going to introduce uh, Ciela Boutique. Um, this is Alara and Kim. Uh, this one is down off of Main Street in Waxhaw, uh, and these gals have, have truly have purpose, and it's in their, um, their people, planet, and purpose uh, mission. Um, and I'm going to get to that in a second when I join, uh, join Melissa, but, <clears throat> you know, they think a lot about how, you know, what we eat and our lifestyle and how that can permeate into uh, the, what we wear and the other choices that we make and how we... Um, from bath and body to the clothes we wear. And so everything that they 
uh, have in their store is fair trade, it's, it's organic, um, and it is really the, uh, the most environmentally and socially conscious uh, clothing, and, and uh, ladies' clothing mostly, and other things that you can buy. So with that, I'm going to kick it over to, uh, to Melissa, who's going to start us off with the Cielo Boutique, again located on, South Main, on East South Main Street uh, in Waxhaw, North Carolina. There you go, Melissa. to you, Cielo Boutique. So I had the opportunity to visit this store in Waxhaw. It's a cute little store nestled right outside of the, the little town. And a little bit that I that I talked with the owner, um, I was able to learn the products are really curated to not only, um, some of them, and I'll, and I'll mention this in a second, they actually help. So when you purchase this item or this or this uh, piece of jewelry, it actually helps feed the hungry, women in need. Uh, just one dimension. This little necklace right here. So this is a little ring, and this was actually made by somebody in Tennessee in Nashville, and you can tell by who it was made from. So they have a little signature there that this was made from Chelsea and some of the proceeds from this jewelry will actually go to help these women. So let's get to some of the goods. This dress, uh, what's unique about this dress, it is handmade. Uh, again, like I said, most of their products really, um, she's very careful when she curates them. Uh, paired with a cool boot. You wanna come and help me there? Sure, you bet. Cute little boots and also handbags. So they're not only just clothing, they have a lot of great gift ideas too. So again, holiday season, right? Look at these packaged gifts. Are they not adorable? Perfect. This is a beauty kit, $60. It has everything you need from lip balm to hand cream to spray. They had a great, um, what are you spraying your hair? Dry shampoo. That's Is this it here? Right here. Oh, yeah, God, that's yeah. this mission. Listen, if you buy one thing from this boutique today, buy this dry shampoo. So it's like a powder and you kind of squeeze it so it's not going to go everywhere and it just provides like little tiny mist. And this is actually made in North Carolina. Did you know that? I didn't. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So it's Missy O'Hare. Buy this. I don't know. I'm not even sure what the price is, but it would be worth like we have it online it would be worth they also have it on their website too yeah worth Ciela, a shop, a Ciela shop .com. and now that a lot of us are right staying at home working at home we all want the comfort clothes right i almost bought this when i was in there this wow. is so super soft and luxurious so you can literally work from home in this and it's got the matching pants and she has a wide selection of just really comfort clothes that we're all going to need at least in the next few months another idea is this grow kit so again we're all home maybe we feel like we want to like grow herbs or whatever this is a, a lavender but she has other it's like a hydroponic hydroponic grow kit and the instructions are in there and it's super super easy Puzzles and games. Have you built any they, puzzles? They, they have. have I, I'm a huge uh, jigsaw puzzler. Are you? Um, I sure am. So this is Lemonade Pursuits Puzzles and Games. Toiletry bags. Again, some more hair clips and jewelry. And I do want to Which make mention, perfect stocking stuffers or gifts on their own, right? Yes. This Half United. So this is a sustainable jewelry. Again, the purchase goes to help um empower adults um and children so if you can pick up something like that it's super super cute swahili coast so again i just love the conversation that i had uh with Before, her yeah. about how she purchases her items and is very very meticulous about what she what she puts in 
Again, some more boots. We talked about this. And this is just the perfect coat, right? Perfect. It's like a sweater coat. It is reversible. See how nice and soft that is? It's beautiful. Yeah. And then jeans. And more they jewelry. do an amazing job. I you, love If you go jeans. in there, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. If you go, when you go in there, you know, you, it's like that with most local merchants. Get to know them, and they'll get to know you. And as they get to know you, they'll start to craft, you know, outfits yeah, for you and your lifestyle, for your body, for your mm -hmm. lifestyle, and it's all good for you. And it's coming from the earth. It's coming from, it's coming from people who, uh, you know, are are. Um, that they, they, they just do a great job. Right. They really why do. this dress? They're, Get they're, dressed they're up at home, even though we're home, right? I, I heard that. I heard a gal who uh, on Instagram. I don't know who she is to tag her, but uh, she puts on uh, a a formal wear every time she has like a conference, like every day. So she's putting on like black tie outfits um, to have her Zoom mm -hmm. calls. So there's nothing wrong with dressing up a little bit, right? It makes you feel yeah. good. All right, great. Um, and so we're going to have to, uh, I'm going to step over here you step over and there. I'll, meet you there. I'll meet you there in a second. Well, as you can see, we're running around pretty crazy. As you can see, we're running around pretty crazy here. Uh, but this is great stuff. And so up next, Catherine Ellinger is going to, uh, is taking advantage. I don't want to take away from her, her pitch, but it's absolutely timed appropriately. She's developed a formula for hand sanitizer that is healthy. It's, uh, but again, I don't want to take away from her. So without any uh, more delay, uh, kicking it over to Catherine Ellinger from Bougie Batch. Hi there, Catherine L. Wenger here. Um, I just wanted to introduce you to a company that I started up during uh, quarantine called Bougie Batch. Um, it came about because, um, like everybody else, um, we had a hard time finding healthcare um, items uh, and sanitizer being one of the number one uh, to keep ourselves and our families safe. So I thought, well, I can make some. And I, also had noticed a demand for or a need for some on one of my next door uh, social pages. So I did a little research and I started thinking about what I wanted to use in it, what I would like to use on my own hands, my own skin, and a lot of the things out there were not so great. So what I did is it's mostly, um, mostly aloe and essential oils and um, it goes on very silky and soft and it leaves your hands feeling and smelling super bougie. So it goes on like silk. You put a couple of sprays in the bottom of your hands or the palms of your hands and rub it between your fingers on the outside of your hands. Our signature scent is neroli, which comes from the bitter orange flower. It's also a basis for many um, perfumes, uh, Italian and French perfumes that you might know. Um, actually has healing properties. Um, it's one of my favorite ones. It's, it smells like cologne. I've actually had people that are using it as aftershave. I've got, I'm getting feedback currently on people that are using it as a beard cleaner and conditioner. Um, I've had feedback on uh, people that have used it on their hands that have psoriasis and eczema, and it's all positive. So it's pretty darn natural. It comes in uh, neroli, eucalyptus bergamot, and lavender. And those of you with children, lavender is pretty popular because it's very calming, especially if you have to live in your house with the kids even while you're working. Lavender would be fantastic. 
And um, eucalyptus bergamot is um, actually supposed to be a little bit of a pain reliever. Um, and it's supposed to be good for acne. So these are just things that I've read up about. So I figured out a way to process the aloe. It took me months to figure it out in a, in a way that I was happy with it. It comes in a uh, two ounce um, spray top or pop top um, in three different fragrances. Again, Neroli, which is our signature, eucalyptus bergamot, and um, lavender. And I use very, very high grade therapeutic essential oils. So there's nothing in it that's going to smell like dirty socks or moonshine, anything like that. Um, it would make a great stocking stuffer. It's a perfect way to say you care when you can't be there over the holidays. Um, if any of you are, have healthcare heroes in mind or essential workers, um, it's, they've been sent uh, to people that are in healthcare facilities and nursing homes that seem to really enjoy and appreciate them. I've got before and after pictures of a client that had very, very dry and cracked hands just literally last week. And four days later, he sent me after pictures and his hands were so healed up, I couldn't believe that it had only been that, you know, four days. So I give it a shot. I like it, everybody seems to like it that's used it. Again, it would make a really great stocking stuffer and it goes a long way. So only two to three sprays um, with the spray top and five to seven drops with the pop top um, it, comes, ooh, it comes in um, two ounce and four ounce bottles, um, ranging from uh, $6 for the two ounce and $12 for the four ounce. Um, so I would hope that you would, <laughs> are you gonna I'm, steal some? No, I'm buying these. Oh, she's buying these. So you better hurry because it is a small batch sanitizer. So while supplies last, thank you very much. That was great. Great story. Uh, yeah, and I know we both sampled it beforehand. That's, I like how it's she said how it, she had to learn how to take the aloe from the plant. Yep, yep. Uh, and it, it, she's, uh, she's a fascinating gal. Again, she's worked a full-time job, style, like, but, you know, take, you know, try to do good. And I think that's what you'll find with every one of uh, the presenters in their companies is that these are really good folks. And they, lo you know, they love what they do, and they love serving they're guests, right? They're not even really customers, they're guests. And that's how you feel when you go in to a, to a, to a local merchant uh, and they, you know, they greet you uh, and they will take care of your safety, yeah. right? I mean, I've been yelled at, like, your nose isn't covered, right? No, I cover and and I, yeah, and I mean, but you know what? You won't get that necessarily in a big box, yeah. right? They don't really care as right. much. But the, the people who, you know, the merchants, they live in their communities, they care about their employees, they care about, uh, the community and, and, and their customers and their guests and, and keeping them safe. So I'm going to shop them before I leave for sure. Good, good. It looks like Victoria picked up a couple bottles, oh, so you yeah. may, it looks like yeah. they're going to go fast. So up next is um, Randolph James. Uh, Randolph has rapidly become a, a dear friend to me, and I met you, Melissa, through Randolph. I, I have to say I love him. Like, yeah. He is one of the most generous, the kindest, human beings I've ever met in my entire life. And he's one of the most hardworking. Hard I have, um, I've been here with him mm -hmm. from open to close, days on end, and it's probably a toss up who's locking the door. Right. Um, but I think he might even come back and do a couple extra things, and, right? Um, he has and so, the gallery. And he has absolutely transformed this place. I don't want to take away his thunder sure. at all, uh, but he, um, you know, this, this, what he's creating here, again, is kind of the new retail, which is creating an experience, right? Not just, I got this one item and, you know, in my store. Right. It's really creating a, 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 a retail merchandising and art experience. And so he's, he's capturing that. And to see galleries at 811, how day by day it is getting uh, revamped. Uh, and just uh, redone here. When uh, and I think of supporting local, Randolph's mind comes to my mind. Like I, that's he is so great at it, and is so generous with his time and 
his efforts towards community. He really is. He really is. And so, um, I, again, I don't want to take his th take away the thunder, but I think he's going to take us on a little tour uh, of the galleries at 811. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to kick it over to, to Randolph, Magnolia Emporium, beautiful curation and some other things he has going on. Um, but go ahead, take it away, Randolph. Hi, I'm Randolph James of Magnolia Emporium and galleries at 811. Welcome. I'm going to show you a few of the products that we have here tonight uh, for you. One of my favorite things, I think, because I'm a wine drinker, is a uh, wine glass writer. This is a really great product because not only can you put it on the wine glass, but you can also put it on your quartz countertop, uh, marble, things like that. So whether you're identifying your charcuterie or your wine glass, it's a great product. We have other things from laundry powders for your fine linens, uh, fantastic soap company, uh, Buck Naked Soap Company, really, really great products. We also have their soap bombs too. Uh, for the fur baby. They do squeak. Um, some great little treats and things like that. Uh, wonderful woman. Um, she has been with us from the beginning. This is Soap Distillery out of uh, Chicago. And this is beer and cigarettes. This is probably about the best beer and cigarettes you're ever going to smell in your life. And we have it in the soap and the body wash as well. We have uh, French soaps, we have uh, body washes and candles from Z & Company. Love this company, she's an amazing woman. Her kids help her with the products as well. So, real inspiration, and she's been with us for a long time as, uh, too. Uh, Blythe and Bonnie candles. We have a new one here, Aqua de Soy. This one is Havana. Uh, one of the things that I like about a lot of the products that we get is that the Tins are reusable. We like something that you can repurpose. So this wonderful tin here is great for jewelry, um, you know, accoutrements in the bathroom, what have you. Love the smell. Havana is great. My cousin Anna is in Havana right now, so this is for her. We have a sober dough. This is probably about the easiest bread you're ever going to make in your life. You add some craft beer to it, and um, you literally just mix it up. I have this great secret, though, for this one, and uh, this is also Melissa, who's not so much of a baker, but she is now. I think, frankly, after she started using sober dough, but you bake it, mix it up in the bowl, bake it, and then if you slice it, toast it afterwards, it's absolutely incredible. So that's one of our favorites. Uh, righteous Felon. Uh, jerky. We've got several flavors. All natural, great product, great group of guys that have this company. That's one of the products that we sell in Finoli's market. Now, Finoli is named after Don Vincenzo de Riva Finoli, who was a Milanese count, and he owned the leases to the Rudicell and the St. Catherine's Mine at our old store in the Gold District. Theo Chocolate. Let me tell you, for Seattle, this is probably the epitome of chocolate in the world, in my opinion. Organic, all natural, great products. And that's something that we strive for, whether it's for pet products or for gourmet and skin products. We want all natural, um, organic, and as clean and healthy as possible for you and for us. If you need tea, and I'm a tea drinker myself, um, I have Winterwood's tea. She's also organic. We have several flavors available and more here in our store as well. So definitely check these out. On the entertaining, when we're able to, even if it's a minimal amount, we have great holiday napkins and um, guest towels as well. Quartz Sickle Air. Again, wine drinker. Here I am. Um, this is a great product for us. Um, we've done very, very well with Corksicle. You put this in the freezer, put it down in the bottle, chill the wine, it's great. It has a little aerator built inside, which is even better. So last but not least is a dear friend of mine, Aviva Stanoff. Aviva Stanoff is, in a word, an incredible woman. She really is. Uh, she is probably one of the most talented individuals I think I've ever met in my life. Um, other than a, uh, maybe my mother and my godmother. But um, these are some of the pillows that she makes here. Um, this is the mermaid pillow. And this is a fun one. She's the creator behind this. So we can 
have fun with it and create your designs back. Now, her products are normally sold at Neiman Marcus, Harrods, and a few other great places, including Magnolia Emporium. And she will also have a crystal bar in our store on top of that. So now that we've concluded those items, I'm going to take you a little bit of tour on Galleries 811 and show you what we have. So come with me. One of my favorite, favorite new galleries here is actually Victoria Schweitzer. Uh, uh, Victoria, how are you? Hi, Randolph. How nice of you to stop by. My pleasure. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your artwork. Well, I've been painting for a very long time, as you very well know. And uh, this is just a very big, it's a very small assortment of a very big collection of artwork. Yeah. Um, I've recently got into skulls, and, and there's a lot of variety. Which are amazing. Thank they really you. are. And then this is a Steph Curry that he autographed. Um, now you work with a lot of celebrities, too, as well. I do, indeed. I work with Oprah Winfrey. And Oprah is a doll. I work with her on a lot of charity work, and I'm very fortunate to know her. So, um, But this is also for charity. So Steph Curry um, works with a few different charities, and a portion of the proceeds from the sale of this will go to those. That's awesome. Yeah, well, we thank you. Some Jimi Hendrix and some. Other That's stuff. brilliant. The yeah. Jimi Hendrix piece really is amazing. Thank not you. signed, I'd imagine. That is unfortunately <laughs> not signed. I painted it a little too late. <laughs> well, you can stop by um, Galleries 811 at any time, and we have a monitor up, so it showcases a lot of her work. Uh, one of the members that we have here is also Sandra Vosi uh, of Vosi Plastic Surgery. So we have a lot of skin care that's about to come in here. So this also showcases uh, some of her different services from hydrofacials uh, to cool sculpting and just age contour creams. Uh, working on our living wall, it's still in the process. Uh, thank you Eek Designs for some of the sponsorship. One of our great uh, vendors that we have with our building is Walker Zanger Top. So they have a boutique here and uh, I'm honored and absolutely thrilled to have them. So this is one of their amazing pieces here. And um, as you come into our store, we're still working on it. We have a lot to do still, but uh, we're actually going to officially be open this weekend. Uh, we've been closed for eight months and a lot of people have been uh, <laughs> really nervous as to when they will be able to get their holiday uh, um, treats and, and gifts and things like that. But, we have cards, we have uh, candles and skincare. I have all kinds of furniture. And uh, we'll have a fireplace right over there. And uh, a lot of fun. We have over 750 vendors. And any kind of furniture, lighting, home decor, gifts, we pretty much have it, whether it's for residential or hospitality. Um, one of my favorite pieces, of course, is our new counter by Kaufman and Company. This is about to get some marble from Walker Zanger, and our CFO, Robert Naylor. Hi, how are you? You will see him from time to time uh, in our building, and he takes care of a lot of our book work as well. Um, and occasionally, we have some secrets here, and this happens to be one of them. So this is Devereaux Clothing Boutique, and we, oh, we have a surprise here. Oh. This is internationally famous designer, Luis Machacal. Hey, guys. We are thrilled to announce that Luis Machacao is now in our building and he resides upstairs in his own boutique and we're thrilled to have him here. Yes. <laughs> Another person that we have here, um, as a matter of fact, is William Wilson. Um, he's in there working now. <laughs> hey William, how are you? Hey. William Wilson is a celebrity clother to a lot of sports celebrities and entertainers around the world. William, tell us a little bit about what you do. Oh, uh, well, as you say, I'm a celebrity clothing designer based here in Charlotte, but I strip to 14, I guess I should take this mask off. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be safe, man. Um, but I ship to 14 countries on three continents. I'm the personal tailor for D.L. Weekly, Eddie Griffin. I've done shoots with George Lopez, Oscar De La Hoya, a lot of people like that, you know, across the country. But my primary target market is regular business people. I've always said I'd rather sell to the person that worked at Bank of America Corporate Center than Bank of America Stadium because they're going to wear suits every day. These other guys can wear suits maybe two or three <laughs> times a year, and I got bills. <laughs> so, but well, you guys welcome, welcome to come inside, take a look at it if you want to, or however you guys want to do. 
It's like Krios, but only different. <laughs> this is my space here. Um, my primary business is custom. As you see, I've got a lot of custom suits here, but I also have off-the-rack suits as well. Because with the pandemic and things like that, people's budgets aren't what they always were, and they can't necessarily, you know, may not be buying and spend as much money on that. So I want to be able to get you, my phrase, my, my slogan has always been, from college to the corner office. So the day you graduate college, do you get that big gig of the corner office? I can provide suits for you. So, and that's what I've been doing for 12 years now. And a great podcast on top of that. Yeah, I do have a podcast where I inter uh, interview some of my celebrity friends that come in and, you know, we try to talk about how they got to where they're going. I'm actually about to reintroduce it to talk to more entrepreneurs to kind of shed the light on more entrepreneurship, things like that, so we can come in and spend some money on places like mine and Randolph's. <laughs> Thank you, William. I appreciate it. Thank you. You know, one of the really cool vendors that we have is uh, like Julie B. Shades. These are a custom acrylic shade, and you can do um, um, the polished or the flat side. She has a patent pending on this design. It's really quite incredible. Um, and these will come in a special box, off-coated, so you know how to put them on. And whether it's your family photos or an image from uh, one of our amazing artists here at Galleries 811, She'll be able to incorporate that, and this whole space is going to be filled with her artwork. So, to take you back around the corner over here. Uh, that young lady that was designing those pillows also happens to design art, um, and these are two of the pieces here. What we're so grateful for is the fact that really the only other place that these pieces are being shown is at the United Nations. And we will have a picture with Aviva and the UN ambassador up on the wall with additional pieces. And this wall is also being custom finished specifically just for her. This wall here as well, um, it's empty at the moment, but there's a crate on its way. This entire wall here is actually going to be filled with a crystal bar. So you can come and recharge and uh, play with amethyst and quartz and uh, of all styles and, and colors. And from a piece that may be, you know, 15, 20 bucks to five or $10,000, if you want to custom order something that's a quarter of a million, we can make that happen too. Uh, a really fun artist that we're thrilled to have here is Michelle Rivera. These are some of her pieces here. Um, we just did her install. We also have a monitor up so that it shows a lot of further work at the same time. Another really great a new member that we have here at his boutique is David Miller of Miller House 816 Candles. Hey David, how are you? Are you doing Randall? I'm doing good. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your product. Uh, so Randall, we, uh, we wanted something simple and something nice and that would kind of go with any decor. So we kind of started with our Christmas candles here. We have two. We have a uh, Christmas tree and we have um, Merry Christmas in French. Those were the two we started with. And then we ended up with the 16-piece <laughs> travel collection. And you really do have some great ones. I mean, you know, I'm a candle snob and I sell a lot of candles, but you got some really great candles. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. here. These, these are so great. Well, thank you. I appreciate yes, it. Well, you know, we've got a few other things that are coming up in the building as well. We have, a, of course, Luis Machacal's Atelier upstairs, and we actually built upstairs around him. We have massage therapy. I have a commercial broker. Um, I have a conference room and uh, a couple designers and a lot of other fun things. So we look forward to seeing you, and Magnolia Emporium is opening this weekend, so thank you. Thank you so much, Randolph, for that beautiful tour of the gallery and everything that you have available here at Magnolia Emporium. Don't forget that he is opening this Saturday, so come and support. So right now, I'm going to turn it over to Dawn, and he is going to present Ruby Gifts, Ruby's Gifts in the heart of Noda. Everything is handcrafted, hand-painted, local artist. So, Dawn, if you are ready, I'm going to send it over to you. Thank you, Melissa. Uh, you know, I'm going to do something. I'm going to uh, let you guys focus on this. And I'm going to, this, this is a sign that you'll find in Ruby's. Uh, Ruby's gift is in the heart of Noda. 
And they're an amazing, it's an amazing shop with Mary and Sarah and Thea and Patricia, the whole team there uh, is, is really good. And I'm just gonna read something off the back because I think it's important. Their mission is to deliver a one-of-a-kind artist community and pleasing shopping experience featuring locally made, artisan crafted, and economically feasible gift options. And their core values are empower artists, commit to all local, be a gathering place, give back, create a bright inviting environment, and support their neighborhood. And I don't know of anybody who does it better than Ruby's Gift. Um, and I, you know, I am not gonna do any justice to any of the artists and creators, uh, any of the artists and creators, candidly, uh, knowing how much they work, but they have unbelievable, unique, handmade, everything in that store almost, like I think it's like 99% is all handmade, um, which is just a really neat thing. And by the way, they offer free gift wrapping. So they have everything from stocking stuffers to absolutely beautiful art. Um, and so I just wanna share, if you've, if you've been in Ruby's, this is a local artist here in Charlotte. Um, you've maybe seen his tiles um, from place to place. This is Scott Partridge. Uh, he does amazing, beautiful work. Um, you know, here are uh, some really neat handmade little ornament, uh, little decorations for about $20, $25 a piece. Um, this is, an, this is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, you know, in, in all of this, I, this is some of the most delicate things. Um, but this piece is um, patchwork peat is what it's called. Uh, and the artist is... Hollinger? I'm gonna get that wrong and I, I apologize. Um, but uh, but th that is just breathtaking in person. Um, the, the orchids here are just beautiful. Um, and, and you know, uh, I just think it's beautiful. Um, they have these, um, this is an, a, a, uh, an embroidery kit, uh, a four in one modern embroidery kit to learn embroidery, uh, handmade. Um, I mean, look, this, I, I was shocked that this journal is, is handmade and it, there's paper in there. I mean, it's just beautiful. I don't even want to hurt it. And he's got, they've got some beautiful pottery. This is just unbelievable. This, this bamboo across the top and what a nice little set for a nice little tea set. And I, you know, we got winter coming, so there's nothing better than a, a warm cup of tea. They have artisan jewelry and these are these beautiful coasters, again, handmade. And I think the piece de resistance for them is these shadow boxes that are created only one at a time. Um, and the detail in there is just absolutely amazing. And I believe she only makes them on demand, meaning if somebody asks and commissions them. And I, you know, and I gotta show you this. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see, but you see that light up? Isn't that cool? So with that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, you gotta go. If you're in Noda, you gotta hit Johnny Fly for a pair of shades or a new set of glasses, and you gotta go to Ruby's Gift in, in, uh, uh, right there on, on uh, Davidson Street in, in Noda. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick it back over to Melissa. Uh, and please, if you find yourself in Noda or you're looking for a unique gift anywhere in Charlotte, you know, certainly Ruby's Gift should be on your on your, uh, on your map to go and see. So go ahead, take it away, Melissa. Thank you, Don. Those were absolutely incredible. I love the shadow box. So again, if you're in Noda, be sure to visit Ruby's Gift. Again, everything is handcrafted or hand-painted by local artisans. Next up, we have Lamoni Blanc. A few things I wanna say about her is when I first met her, she actually handcrafted a pair of earrings for me. Um, a lot of the local artisans do not have the ability right now to go to pop-ups. So that means that they can't showcase their pieces like they normally would be able to. So that's why today is really, really important to support local business, to support these local artisans and I am just in love with Lamoni's creations, um, and I think you're really, really going to enjoy them. So for that, I will send it back now to Lamoni Blanc. Hello, 
Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Ilfis Rojas. I'm the founder and designer of Lemony Blanc. I started this business about three years ago, um, making uh, jewelry, handmade jewelry, making from uh, polymer clay and also home decor. And as you can see on this table, um, all these are handmade earrings and most of them are also with the utmost care and quality just for you. So you can see them also, they are always sealed with acrylic, most of them, so for more durability. Also, in this table you can find some Christmas trees ornament, which is actually, I think, is super cute and perfect gift for this holiday. Also, as you can see here, I can show you that this unique wall, uh, wall art, uh, personally, I haven't seen something like that before, so I hope you guys can enjoy this type of art. And also, as a dog mom, I always try to make sure to give my dog all natural tricks, and that's why I started this business called NC Pops Bakery, which is all organic, always fresh, make actually on my house. And I can tell you one of these specific ingredients is called Moringa powder, which if you can Google it, if you can do your own research, actually has a lot of potential beneficial for your dog. So that's why I wanted to give you this to try. And also you can always find me on my Instagram as a Lemony Blanc or an NC Pops Bakery on my Instagram. And you can always ask for your free sample. Um, and all these items on this table, you can also find them in cisnaget.com or you can go visit me on my Etsy shop called Lemony Blanc as well. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Well, I hope you guys are having some fun and getting to see some 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 interesting artists and, and merchants. And you know, we're we're getting close. We've got one more uh, one more to share. And, and this again, you know, um, I uh, you know I um, these merchants are are tough cookies. You know, these are tough times right now. And uh, to be a merchant and to be in retail is tough too. And to be a small business owner is tough. But you know what? These merchants are tough too. And you know, we're about to, to present to you a merchant who's down on Main Street in Waxhaw, uh, the Indigo Pearl. And you know, Deanne has, uh, the, the story of Indigo Pearl is just a neat one. Uh, they've got a great team there, um, you know, Deanne and her husband Mark. Uh, and then you've got Danielle and Nicole um, that are there to, to serve their guests. And uh, you know, I would say that, um, you know, that fascinating story. So Deanne started creatively doing pillows and then going to, with a table. Uh, and then her husband bought her a, uh, a they bought a, a food truck and then took that food truck and stocked it with pillows. And then, hey, this jeweler wanted to be along. And so her, her journey to becoming a merchant is a fascinating one. And she's an incredible merchant. And so it's absolutely my pleasure to help present with Melissa uh, the Indigo Pearl and the team that's there. They're hardworking, hardworking ladies and uh, um, they do a great job. And they will take care of you. You go in there and they will find you the perfect curiosity, the perfect little gift. Uh, they have a little bit of something for everyone at all price points. So with that, I'm gonna kick it over to Melissa and I'll join her in a minute. So I was so excited to visit the Indigo Pearl the other day. Um, I'm sad that I did not know of this store before I actually went to Waxhaw, so thanks for your encouragement, Dawn. So, great selection of things for your home, locally sourced uh, artisans, uh, things from around the world. I actually bought something that was made, handmade in Africa. So one of the things I was fascinated by though are her crocheted pieces. So I don't know if you ever, well some of you, me, grew up in a time where we had crocheted items, right? Blankets, afghans. So she's got a great selection of these types of crocheted items for kids. They are stinking cute. Oh my gosh. And this is, Look at these this is Bean and Dot. And Bean and Dot is actually oh, they're they're in wax off. Yeah. yeah uh, and that's they make these. Said. But if if this <laughs> And then this, these little ponchos. It makes me want to have a baby. I, okay. 
they're too big for, they're too small for my girls. But, uh, but I mean, look at these cute, look at that. Like that is just cute. And if you had like little twins, boy and a girl, right? Styling in their little vest with that skirt. Her. So another thing that she had shown me, oh, I mean, the lamp, right? Is this not perfect for a, a little a child's room? But she also did a take on this herself with the uh, alpaca fur with that um, bag right there. Do you see it? I do. I, I do. And, you know, so uh, the Indigo Pearl is predominantly, you know, leather, uh, leather goods, artisan jewelry, and key decor items. And we're actually missing two items if maybe somebody could help me bring the um sorry about that it's on its way so what i'm going to show you is and what i think is most special is these bags are all handmade um deanne uh, has made um let me set that down uh, has, has personally made some of them um, but she also, um, um, she also gets other gals to help make them and to earn a couple bucks and to work with their hands. And it's just an incredibly uh, inspirational story. And I think um, Deanne and the team there will definitely find something for you. But if you, you know, after the holidays and the big rush, if you go down there, spend a little time with Deanne, she'll design the perfect bag for you. And it might take you months to get it, but no one else in the world will have one like it. And she also has men gifts. So that was one thing that, you know, you never know what to get a man, right? Well, I mean, you can almost start with one of these tungsten, or these, right. uh, and I'm probably gonna get that wrong, but one of these fine sheathed knives. Um, and she has a whole section devoted to men with she does. messenger bags. She does, did you see these cufflinks? The, everything was great. I great mean, those, gift those ideas. Those are absolutely beautiful cufflinks. And that is, they are, um, that is, I wasn't even sure, it's Zionite? It's, yeah, blue Zionite. That's pretty cool. And then they have these rad skulls. Uh, so again, you know, just like we did uh, earlier, you know, if you got to be home, why not dress up, have a little fun, whether it's put on that dress from Ciela right. or for your man, get him some of these, these cufflinks. She's got interesting pieces. This lamp is absolutely beautiful. I'm not able to plug it in at this moment, but just different other style pieces. And these, I, you know, I, I, uh, I don't think my wife would let me do this, but I, I like these, like I want these, right? So if somebody else like doesn't the get rug. them, I the don't think they're- The rug that I saw. The yeah, and then we've got like rug. a couple of these things over here, like just key this really neat star and, and look at this puffy thing. Look at that. Like who doesn't want that? on a cold day right right, right. So, and jewelry i mean she's, she's got, got so bit of, much great jewelry from local local artisans i mean just beautiful beautiful pieces we've put these pieces online um but i mean the assortment in the store is is, is absolutely breathtaking you have to visit the and store. and and like marcy and like most merchants you know deanne the team there works hard to keep the store looking fresh right keep it with the windows always looking new. Mm -hmm. there's, there's new items that she's, she's curating and finding and creating a mix. And so with that, I think, I think we're, 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 we're pretty we close to it. being done. So I don't, are there any questions or are there any, anything, any uh, if anybody online? has any questions for Melissa or me or anybody else, um, please keep commenting on Facebook and let us know, uh, you know what you think. And hopefully most importantly, uh, get out there, support the local businesses in your community, support those local merchants. They have items that are not going to come in a cellophane box with lots of air. Uh, they, they're, they're frugal, right? And so if they ship you something, it's going to be tight. It's going to be right there. Uh, and, you know, they are committed, like I said at the beginning, to treating, you know, when you go into a small business, you're going in, it's almost like you're going into somebody's home. But not because of the products that they have and the decor, right? The people. But it's because of that connection. Yeah. You go in, you feel safe. Right. I feel warm. I feel like I feel like I'm welcome, right? Mm -hmm. Not like I'm annoying somebody who's in the middle of doing something else, right. right? And so, so with that, I think we're we're pretty much close to wrapping up. So I'd I'd like to thank everybody. I'd like to thank everybody who viewed. Um, I'd like everybody uh, to thank everybody who participated. This was a massive undertaking in a very short period of time. And so with that, Melissa, I want to also 
recognize and thank all of the merchants who put in a little extra Christmas magic to make this happen for our Charlotte community and, and, and for the community at large in Waxhaw. Uh, and, you know, and with that, I just want to again thank the folks at Third Rock Events. I want to thank uh, Randolph and Galleries at 811 and Magnolia Emporium. I want to thank you, Melissa. I want to thank my team who kicked some butt today. I want to thank, uh, and I want to thank all of the artists and the partners who came uh, and shared a little bit about who they are and what they do. And so with that, I want to say shop small, shop local, shop safe. Have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays, a good evening, and we'll see you again soon. Merry Christmas. Bye.